at the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big power shot there. Another strike to the head lands. Wild swing there. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, there it is. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. And they both stand up. Anderson gets caught with that punch. Ooh. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, nice jab. Well, he continues to mix it up beautifully on the feet. Nice inside leg kicks there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just misses there with the left. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Oh, 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 nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> It's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> uh, that's right. <laughs> All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Back and forth we go. Good punch, Lance. Nice leg kick there by Anderson. That right hand is on point. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. <laughs> well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Here's the kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. 15 seconds to go. And just misses with that big right hand. No! 
five oh. minutes in the books. Well, right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after him guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. He blocks the punch. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice job to land it. Knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. A oh, little single collar tie there. Shoot a throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land. Ron and Pound here are if you're going to go to submission. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Back to the stand up now, both fighters upright. Nice punch, man. Leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice head kick. Nice straight punch. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him right here. Goes in and secures the takedown. On the shot. There you go, single leg. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Punch over the top. Just missed with the left there. Trying to double up on that jab. He might be out. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And he landed the right hand there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. All right, so he's again efforting for the takedown here. Once again, able to get it. So the opponent just not able to put up much resistance thus far. He has not been able to figure out the entries. He has not been able to get a hedge on the takedown defense, and that's why he's getting taken down over and over again. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Chor. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's 
just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. 20 seconds to go round two. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Round three next. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous first. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice head kick. Wow. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Single collar tie now. Flying knee and it finds the target. He references size advantage off the top, and the taller fighter is able to land a monumental strike there. Nice kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, Superman punch. Straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got the legs, got the position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Anderson's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And they separate. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice. 
Oh, he missed with that right hand. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Anderson. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high box. Oh, oh, slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not me. <laughs> I do that. I'm never good. <laughs> Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Side control now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Relentless pressure from the top by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. Not there. Wow, those power combinations are really paying off. You floored that guy. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice loop of punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just misses with the straight right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right punches there. Nice head kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Beautiful strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't him. attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Just missed on the front kick there. That shot blocked by Anderson. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Strong defense there to block the shot. Just misses with the left hook. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he gets the takedown. That could be big. 
Parsons has got full mount now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Choi's got his back now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Now connects with the right. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice inside leg kicks there by Anderson. Back and forth we go! 15 seconds remain in the round. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Straight right, he misses. Oh! What a fight so far. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Seeing this I mean, the speed at which he throws is just crazy. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice uppercut inside. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Rips the body there. Try to establish that jab. What a big time takeout. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Pretty significant wealth to the left side. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at your exact right. Oh! Lands the right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on note. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, that kick is good by Anderson. Oh, and he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chip. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. Let's go. Get him off, you. Get him off. All right, he 
he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Choi. Switching stances here. He missed with that jab attempt there. A swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Straight right is there. Good punch. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano's home stop for this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the